Hey, it's your girl DC and come on and get glam with me. Hey y'all, it's your girl DC and it's time for another Tutorial Tuesday. Today what we're going to be covering is our daytime skincare routine. I have nothing on my face. I am bare, but I have not cleansed my face for the day. So let's do this together. You ready? First, we're going to use this round, big, white bristle brush that is dripping water so that we can get this show started. So, we're going to just scrub the dub like this. This is getting into every single part of my face cells. How do I know? Because I feel like someone is ripping off my skin. And like I said, I only use this big... Ow, be careful. You don't want to take your eyelashes off. Um, so I only use this brush once a week because you're only supposed to really exfoliate three times a week. So I only use this brush when I really want to get in. Otherwise, I'll just use another brush for when I exfoliate. And I usually exfoliate three times a week. But once a week, we do the big old, big old mighty scrub de da dub in here I go I'm scrubbing scrubbing away the brush literally took every inch of the soap get in between where I have the most pores into my t-zone and down my nose and we're done here and I look like a hot mess but if you could look into the brush which just to let you know I washed my face last night but I went to the gym so it took away all the dirt that I had that you thought that you removed it's still there so after that we're going to just pat our face and make sure there's nothing left remaining so we're done with step one which is cleansing our face and once again I use the glow recipe Burberry bounce gentle cleanser it smells like heaven it's great for your face and it's great for makeup erasing and deep cleansing, which is what I wanted to do today. You should try to do this routine at least once a week. If you're going to use the big round brush. We're done with that. Okay, step two. We are going to use this black truffle extract to exfoliate our face to polish it. It was made in Italy. Italy? This is so good for anti-aging and its ability to protect against facial damage. Removes dull and damage and dead skin. And it has some vitamin A and E and it helps you with your complexion and your moisturizer. <laughs> and it's good for sensitive skin like me. So we're going to add a little bit of amount over the face and then we're going to work uh, we're going to work it all around for about 2 minutes or so. And then we're going to just do this. So once again, I'm exfoliating my face with this skin care that is truffle. I love to eat truffle. So might as well just put it on my face, right? And we're just going to leave this on for no more than three minutes. Because we also don't want too much after we just use that big old round brush. Because believe it or not, too much of this can rip your skin off and make it become extremely dry and irritated. So I like to use this. Oh, you can really feel it tinging all over your face. So I like to make sure I use it on my T-zone. Because I get the oilish around here. And right here, because I have darker and uneven skin. Toss this sucker. And we're just going to keep moisturizing it in a circular motion. And maybe we should put the timer on, right? Time it, baby. Okay, now that we have facially patted off our face and removed all the exfoliation off, we're just going to use a wipe to make sure we remove any excess makeup or dirt um, that we did not get a chance to get when we use the big old brush and when we use our hands or anything. Always. Don't ever think your wiping off game is good because these wipes will prove you're wrong. I mean, it's actually not that bad to what I have left. 
All right. Just roll it totally. All right, now it's on to the next one. We are going to use a toner that I got from Sephora recently. It has actual rose petals in it. It is so good to remove impurities and softens your skin. Um, I'm excited. And it smells like actual rose petals are in here. I'm just removing the lid. This is proof that this bad boy is new. We're going to apply the rose toner onto a cotton pad. And we're just going to apply it around the face. And especially around your T-zone because that's where I get the most oily. And then down by your neck. And this feels so good and smells so great. And look at that. Look at that. Didn't I just... Next step is our glow. You guys remember this? Our glow serum smells like pineapple. Feel like pina colada. And we're going to apply it onto the T-zone. And our dull, dull, uneven, darker skin. I just massage it. And most importantly, <laughs> it makes you just glow, baby, glow, glow. Next step is our hydration mist. This one has a little gold shimmer to it. Shake it up. This is to prep, set, and glow, baby. It's our water mist original. You have to apply this before you moisturize, okay? Before. I like to do four skirts. Skirt, skirt. Same thing. We're going to just massage it in. The T-zone. The chin. The brows. Underneath the eyes. Next is our moisturizer. This is a little sample that I received from my friends at Sephora. And it is an anti-pollution repair cream called Naturally Serious. And it's to restore and define your skin. Just apply it after you use your hydration mist. Because this is to help seal it in. Mm, it smells really good, like a tree oil. And then we're going to go on to the forehead, underneath the eyes. And I apply it a little bit more because... Down here is where I have the most driest skin. So I really want to use a little bit more amount. And then I'm going to massage it going down to my neck. Next step is our eye cream. Ladies, I can't tell you how important this is. This is from the wonderful people of Clotting. It's an eye cream. Apply it underneath my eyes. And on my eyes, this is to get away, to get rid of black eyes, puffy eyes, red eye, ginger. I'm just kidding. This is just for black eye and puffy eye. And I highly recommend it. Nothing's worse than walking around looking like you got a raccoon eye. People say, what kind of um, eye makeup you wearing? You say, what? Come again? Beg your pardon? I ain't wearing no eye makeup. Last but not least, we're going to use our Super Goop, and this is sunscreen. Many, many, you just spray it on, and many people, believe it or not, don't put sunscreen on, which I don't know why, because it's so important. You want to know what's something? Mine doesn't spray, so I have to pour some on my hand, and then I massage it, and it burns a little bit. Because I just took so good care of my skin. So it was like extra protection. So you want the SPF as extra protection when you're going to go out. Because that helps when you for your skin. For the dull skin. For the discoloration skin. And that's it. That is my skincare morning routine. First step is we're going to cleanse our face. Second step is we're going to exfoliate our face only three times a week. 
if we don't have to exfoliate for that day, then we're going to skip on to the third step, which is to use the makeup wipe to remove any extra impurities or makeup, followed by a toner of your choice. And after the toner, you're going to use your glow or whatever you prefer for your serum. And then after your serum, you're going to go right on to your beautiful hydration mist. Then you're going to lock it in with your moisturizer. And then you're going to use your eye cream to get rid of those bags. And last but not least, you're going to use your SPF. And that's it. This is your girl, DC. And thank you so much for taking the time to get glam with me. See ya.